On this story, Squirrel Gate, a Northeast Ohio woman who tried to bring a squirrel on board, keeps the flight grounded for two hours overnight. Airline officials say she repeatedly refused to get off the plane, claiming the squirrel was an emotional support animal. But that wouldn't fly with Frontier. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg joins us live now to explain what's going on, Jordan. <laughs> There's a whole lot going on when it comes to this story. Well, when you look at federal law and you look at the airline's policy, both of which kind of mirror one another, they both make it really, really clear that squirrels are not allowed on a plane, even if they are emotional support animals. But a woman from Lake County decided to bring it on anyway. Shut up. She got kicked off the bird and then Cindy Torek gave him the bird. A stalemate with airport security over a squirrel earned her a round of applause, which might come with a hint of sarcasm. She understood what they said, but she wasn't trying to hear it. For her, it was an emotional support pet, and she felt like she had the rights for her and the pet to stay on the plane. Frontier airline officials say Torek had the necessary paperwork to bring her emotional support animal on board but she did not specify what that animal was. Turns out Frontier's policy, which is backed by federal law, means having a squirrel on board won't fly. Oh, it doesn't surprise me that where the airlines are given leeway to set their parameters, that they would draw a line there. Emily Gilbert has practiced disability law for more than a decade. She says the Federal Air Carrier Access Act allows more common emotional support animals like dogs and cats under certain parameters. Squirrels and other rodents, however, not so much. As we move away from cats and dogs, which are the most common kinds of support animals, I think the likelihood of having a problem getting that animal on board is going to increase. They're not endless, the rights. Um, when you start to infringe upon other people, th then you're going to start to lose some of your rights. There has to be a balancing. She would not go off the plane. She refused to get off the plane. They made all of us get off all the handicapped and children. I mean, it was really annoying and it delayed us two hours, hence why we're here at midnight. Torek was apparently put on another flight and came home to Lake County this morning. She was a tough nut to crack and refused to answer our questions. But suffice it to say that those aboard Frontier Flight 1612 <laughs> will remember it for how nutty it was. Well, the first thing I said was this can't be real. And it's also important to note that Frontier's policy regarding these squirrels as emotional support animals, it is almost identical to the policies of America and Delta and United and other large scale carriers. And a lot of people are probably wondering why this rodent was allowed through TSA. Well, we reached out to TSA. A spokesperson tells us that they ensure that the rodent or the squirrel, whatever types of animal it is, isn't going to uh, pose a risk to the airline or the airline staff but it's up to the airline to determine what their policy is and how they should go about enforcing it. Reporting live downtown, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.